Okay, so welcome uh, to tonight's show. Uh, it's Monday Night Live, and uh, tonight you got me by myself. Um, the individual that I had scheduled, we were going to talk about Southern California ports. He had a, uh, something came up, and he couldn't make it this evening. Um, but we're still going to have our live show. So rather than Southern California ports, I thought we would talk tonight about how effective is it if you try to book uh, excursions on your own. You know, I, I watch a lot of comments. I watch a lot of the boards and forums about cruising. In fact, my, uh, my wife would tell you that I, I, I spend my life with uh, when I glued to the screen anymore. But it's, it's how I learn what interests people. I, I watch to see questions asked. And I see a lot of people commenting about trying to do their own excursions. And then I see a lot of people that are afraid, you know, talking about, well, the, if you miss the ship, all the, you know, there's a lot of apprehension. So we're going to talk um, about how to book uh, excursions yourself and whether there's any advantage in doing so. And as it is, I happen to have three cruises booked uh, for this year, which is uh, very much the exception rather than the norm for me. I just uh, wound up with a couple of cruises so cheap in January, and I was going to go to Miami for one of them. I'm like, we might as well just do the other one while we're there. So we're actually doing a four day to the Bahamas, and then we're going to turn around two days later and do a five day to the Western Caribbean. And to say Western Caribbean is kind of an exaggeration because we're going to Costa Maya, Mexico, and we're going to Harvest Key, the private island in Belize. So it's not like we're going to see a lot of the Western Caribbean, but we're kind of looking forward to it because um, it'll give me a chance to, in the same, basically same couple of weeks, uh, to look at both of the private islands, and I'll do some videos and do some comparisons for you. But uh, for the first, we're going to look at two different trips, and we're going to do some excursion shopping. One of them I know what I'm going to do. The other one we're going to we're going to explore. We'll just do it from scratch. Uh, let me pull a couple things here at the same time. So. All right, change change my my trailer at the bottom there, and and do me a favor if you can't hear us, uh, go ahead and hit the like button or make a comment so I can make sure that uh, that there are people out there and that everything is working like it should. And then from there, I'm gonna pop up a different banner there. And go back to comments so I can see comments. Okay, all righty, so. Uh, the first uh, of the cruises we're going to look at, we're going to look at uh, my vacation to the Bahamas. Uh, this is on the Norwegian sky. We'll leave on January 6th, uh, come back on January 10th. So here's our here's our days in port. We've got uh, Grand Bahamas, uh, Nassau, and Great Stirrup K. Now, Great Stirrup K is a private island. Um, I know what I'm going to do there. I'm just going to walk around the island and shoot some video. Uh, Grand Bahamas, I'm, I think I know what I'm going to do there. But Nassau is the one that was, um, I guess, most interesting to me. And it's because in the past we've gone to Nassau, but we haven't really done anything in Nassau. Uh, in fact, the last time we got out and we walked around the downtown area and got back on the ship. And, and one of the things that I find, and, and you guys may see this too, but it looks to me like the port area, in every cruise port is just like the port area in every other cruise port. You got Diamonds International and, and the Tanzanite Place and all of these same things that you see on the ship. Imagine that. Um, so I always try to get out and get away from the port area if I'm going to get off the ship and spend any time. I want to see uh, some of the things that are out there to, to you know that are worth seeing and doing. So when we look at, we're going to go down here. And we're just going to look at. Oops, So we're going to plan here. I'm on NCL's website. We're going to look at the um, what the shore excursions that they've got. So we'll click shore excursions. And then we'll go down here and we're going to pick uh, on NASA. Filter it out. So we'll just scroll through here pretty quick. There's 28 of them. Um, but my wife uh, uses a wheelchair. And we're not particularly beach people. Um, and we're definitely not pay to go to the beach people. Uh, we're, we're just a little too thrifty to that. So we're going to pass on uh, the, the snorkeling and the dolphin encounters. And it didn't take my collection here. Page 
Okay, so uh, my wife has a bad back, so going out and, and jeeping it and to the beach didn't seem like uh, something that was our kind of thing. Uh, like I said, Pearl Island, no, 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 no. Uh, I'd like the deep sea fishing, but that's not her cup of tea, and it's no fun to go by myself, so we're not going to do that. Not that, not that. Yeah, we're on a ship. We probably won't do that one either. So let's just keep going down and see what we have in options here. Lots of water options. And the zoo, we have a great zoo where we are. So we're what we'll do is we're going to compare this with, uh, we'll take a look at this one right here. Discover NASA Town in Atlantis. Or actually, better yet, let's look at the compare, charm and beauty of the Bahamas. Um, so we're going to look at the details on this. And like I said, my wife travels with a wheelchair, so it's important that we uh, that we have something that's accessible. This has an activity level of one, so it, it might be okay. So let's look at our details. Um, so we go to Paradise Island. Uh, we'll pass several places. We'll have a 10-minute photo op at Fort Charlotte. And it looks like we go a lot of places and wind up at a rum factory. So looking at this, it looks like we have two stops. And um, so let's look at this. Moderate should be able to, she should be able to do that. Um, not getting great reviews. And the cost for this excursion was $69 a piece. So $138 for two of us for a three-hour, uh, let's call it a glorified bus ride with two stops. So and like I said, I've already uh, pre-shopped this one. So let's go here. I, I did a little, and where I start with uh, trying to figure out uh, shore excursions is I start by going, I'll make that bigger so we can see a little better. Um, I start by, looking at the boards and asking people that I see that are back from visits to uh, destinations, you know, if they use somebody private and, and did they, did they think they got a, a good, uh, you know, good value for it. And there were a couple of people that really spoke highly of Cheryl's Bahama taxi and tours. And you'll notice, uh, let's see somewhere here. I got, uh, uh, it's got rated uh, five stars by 15 different people. That's a pretty good sign. Uh, they have, you know, obviously a, a variety of different vehicles and drivers. And so I reached out and I contacted them and I told them the situation that we had, um, that my wife was traveling with a wheelchair. Hold on one second. Change banners here. And right. Come out. Anyway, so I described the situation, told them that my wife, uh, you know, what my wife's situation was. And they said that they could accommodate, as long as a wheelchair folded up, they could accommodate a wheelchair, no problem. And then we actually exchanged probably 10 emails back and forth about what uh, things were accessible and the things that my wife could do comfortably. And we picked the things that we wanted. So uh, with them, it was a three hour tour and with taxes and everything. It wound up being uh, fifty-six dollars an hour, so we're talking about a hundred and um, for three hours, one hundred and sixty-eight dollars. And so, uh, here's what we came up with in the way of an itinerary. Actually, I'll we'll just walk through some of these things. This is their this is their website as well. So we're going to go to Fort Charlotte, and we're going to be at Fort Charlotte at eleven thirty in the morning because there's a reenactment cer ceremony where we can uh, experience daily life in the 18th century NASA. Sounded like it would be interesting and photo opportunistic. So I'm gonna go there and take some pictures. And so that's one of the things that we're going to do on our three hour tour. Um, my wife said she didn't want to watch him kill a conch, so we're not gonna do that. But the cloisters um, is, I did some research on this. This is a very scenic, uh, uh, a very scenic uh, location. Uh, it's, uh, it does have a handicapped accessible entrance. So uh, we're going to go there and we'll stop and we'll take some pictures and, and enjoy the site there. 
Um, we're not going to do time at the beach and uh, Bat Cave uh, seemed a little more rugged than my wife wanted to try to walk across. She can't walk a little bit, even though she uses a wheelchair to travel. And um, uh, hanging out where, the, where there's a lot of bat guana just didn't seem to be our cup of tea either. Uh, so we decided to do the fish fry. So we'll have some lunch there. And then I thought, wow, this Junkanoo World Museum and Art Center seemed like a really cool place to visit and take some pictures. So we're going to go do that. And we're going to wind up, I think, at uh, the Bahama Handcraft. I'm not sure exactly what order it will be. It'll depend on when we, you know, we talk to the to the guide, uh, what he thinks the best order is. And we may add one or two things to it. May go a little longer if if we want to. Nice thing about doing this tour myself is if I want to extend the tour, I can. Meter's running, but that's okay because uh, you know if I there's something I want to see while I'm there, you know, I I can do that. And that's the the advantage of, of doing a tour that you book yourself is, is that you have the control over it. Now, you know, so, I, and again, I wouldn't necessarily just walk out of the port and grab the first available taxi. I could probably find a deal less expensive than this, but you'll notice that this is rated, highly rated by a trip advisor. Um, and the reviews were really good. In fact, we could pop up reviews and, and you know, this person's used them five times. They're not disappointed, very professional, very knowledgeable. You know, uh, so you just have all of these things to give you some confidence. Now, because you're scheduling the tour, you do need to pay attention to the time. But my ship is in port from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we're going to start our, our, our tour at 10. And so a three-hour tour, that puts me done at 1 o'clock. That still leaves me. Uh, five hours in the afternoon, and I, I can have a nice leisurely breakfast before I get off the ship. Um, and so, like I said, we may extend the tour out for an hour. We'll we'll just have to see if there's anything else as we talk to the guide that he thinks is really valuable. But anyway, as you can see, this was um, it took some time and energy for me to put these pack these pieces together and to get all the answers I wanted from my tour provider. But I have the satisfaction, like I said, I have full control. Um, it was $138, uh, so we're about $20 more than the um, cruise ship package would be. But in the process, oh, by the way, this comes with uh, free Bahama Mamas and fresh water. So, uh, you know, come, you've got drinks, you've got, and I think that one of the things that I like about it is we get to stop at some really interesting places and we can control the timing. Because I think that that uh, the reenactment at Port Charlotte is, you know, at Fort, excuse me, at Fort Charlotte, you know, is going to be something to enjoy and to watch and to shoot video of and pictures. And so my wife and I will both have our fairly new cameras out there, uh, trying to wear them out, so to speak. And by the way, if you guys have any questions, please go ahead and post questions uh, to the uh, to the uh, chat on either Facebook or on YouTube. Um, so that I can try to answer them. So now we're going to go to my other one of my other cruises. Um, we're going to Costa Maya, and there's not much there that that I thought uh, was that interesting to 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 work with. So let's look at what we've got going in Alaska. Like I said, I have not looked at this at all. So we're going to go to our submarine. Let's pick our port. We'll work on. Um, so this is uh, 11 days. We're going to go to Sitka, uh, uh, Skagway, Icy Strait. I know what I'm going to do in Skagway. Skagway is a port I do on my own always. And we're going to rent a car and we'll drive into the Yukon Territory. Um, the world's the smallest desert, the Car Cross Desert, is up there. Uh, Emerald Lake is up there. There's Tagish Lake Kennels where we went last summer. I went for a ride with the sled dogs. They were pulling a little UTV. That was an amazing trip. Um, it's just the scenery is beyond belief. And uh, you can rent a car for about $200 for the day. And, you know, this is a 12-hour port stop, so we'll have a long day to go, go explore and do. Um, but we have, let's see, let's pick Ketchikan. In Ketchikan, we have uh, six hours, 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. So let's do this. Actually, let's go to our, see what they offer, the cruise line. 
And what we'll try to do here is we'll just try to ma match. Um, No, let's try that again. I'm just going to put them all on here and then we'll go down here and filter it. And so we want Skagway. Uh, no, but excuse me, we wanted uh, Ketchikan. We'll see what they offer in Ketchikan. So Misty Fords and uh, Wilderness Explorer. Now Misty Fords is amazing. So let's uh, let's see if we can just we'll just look at this one. This is probably not what I will do, but um, let's see if we can just find something like that. Okay, they leave at 7.30 in the morning. It'll be $448. It's handicap accessible. And it looks like we'll do a little bit of... Um, I'll just say... Okay, so it doesn't really tell you how much of uh, Misty Fjords you get to see. Because usually Misty Fjords is a, is a fly-in uh, place to go. But let's, uh, we'll take a quick look here and see. So let's go to uh, TripAdvisor or catch a can. All right, TripAdvisor is one of the places that I usually start this process. We'll click things to do. Well, uh, we need to change not. Yeah. So we'll go to catch a can. All right, now I'll click things to do. Actually, we'll just click port of call tours and see if this shows up. We could do a seaplane tour to, to Misty Fjords, helicopter tour. Cruise sailing and water tours. So. We may not be able to match that one. We'll see. Okay, so what is to explore float plane by private boat? Okay, so 329, here's a private boat trip. Four and a half hours. So let's just compare this with the 224. This one is um, Four and a half hours.
Uh, that one's not wheelchair acceptable, so accessible, so that doesn't work for us. Um, let's pick something else. I saw, let's see this one. So let's go things to do. Pick nature and wildlife. So there's one, uh, Trailer's Cove is airborne watching. Aurora Tours, here you go. So $95 of bear watching uh, tour in uh, there. So we go there, it is the three hour tour to go bear watching. Let's see if we can find something that bears. And by the way, the uh, Saxman Native Village and Lumberjack Show, you can do that by bus in Forest Grove. We did this Alaska Lodge and Adventure Sea Fest last time. It was pretty nice. We enjoyed that. So I was just looking to see what we could find. Just a uh, bear watching. Okay, so no bear watching. Let's see. Let's try this one. Totem bite and catch can highlights. So totem bite is. So we got catch can four and one. Here it goes. Totem by uh, catch can totem pole and city tour. Okay, so let's pull this one up. And this is uh, an hour and a half to two hours, $55. You visit Potlatch Park, Totem Bite, and you also go to a car exhibit, Russian Museum houses. So you get a city tour and two parks, $55. And this one is four hours, uh, so it's a little bit longer, but it's $149. Or, uh, the, actually, this is probably a closer one, $74, and the other was uh, $55. And you went to both of the, uh, the uh, totem parks, not just uh, totem bike. So, again, what we see is, is that there's ways to find the very comparable. And, again, we can go in here and we could look at um, – uh, we can go in here and look at, at how they're rated. Uh, you can look to see – and I, that's one of the things I do is I sort by what the, is the best um, rated uh, is one of the things that I look at. And then I look at where, where I am budget-wise, too. Anyway, so what you can see is it's not that hard to find ways to to match up and find the uh, tours that you want to find. Um, anybody have any questions before I would call it quits for the evening? Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, like I said, again, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe or hit follow if you're on Facebook. Uh, next week's uh, show. Actually, I don't know what next week's show is. I'll look up real quickly and I'll tell you. Uh, so um, next week we're going to have, oh, actually, next week's very timely. We're going to have Tim White from the Ketchikan uh, Taxi Cab Tours on, and he does tours in Ketchikan. And so he'll give us a a little description of what there is to see and do. I know he's really good at finding bears. 
And probably if I was going to pick a bear watching tour, it would be with Ketchikan ta uh, Taxi Cab Tours. Anyway, thanks for joining me this evening, and we'll see you next time.